so stupid. Yeah, get out. Wonder if I can do this. Slide down. Well, it came down. <laughs> Now I made a mark here, a pencil mark, at seven inches, so now I can cut down to the measure, and uh, <clears throat> I can cut down to that, and hopefully for yeah, four meters twenty-five, get uh, a sharp cant. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, change the blade I could see on that cut I just made here that uh, there was a few slight waves in the cut and that's usually a sign of uh, the blade is dull so I changed the blade and I'm gonna run the saw like a saw with uh, a saw blade with on this to uh, take away yeah, if there's any waves that are too high. But anyway, I'm glad I saw it, so I won't make a, a bunch of uh, rafters that are wavy. But all with the job. You can see this the thickness here and it goes skinnier here yeah I thought now that I have changed the blade and I haven't used my uh, sawmill in uh, several weeks one and six seven weeks or so I've been sawing us yeah, four oak locks and a spruce lock this summer and uh, I don't think I have checked my mill uh, for the leveling since late spring and uh, yeah it was in a couple of places uh, slightly off so now I have uh, readjusted all of it and uh, ready to go again and I'm gonna control saw this yeah. as you can see it took a little bit of one side and a little bit in the thickness at that end here and that was a little bit under level with the others so yeah I'm glad I did that
have taken the width of this transferring to this and the width of this transferring to this one this is a bit skinnier it was the first one I made and uh, that was the one one of those with uh, some waving in the uh, in the cot from the saw blade because it was dull and I've just planed one side because it was off angle yeah it wasn't square so now it is and it's now a bit less wide this is the widest but anyway I'll uh, make a smaller bird's mouth at the other end so the height will be the same uh, as this if I make a bird mouth like this on on uh, on this one and the other one that's the right measurement make them a bit higher the height will be the same for the roof <laughs> the ends fit. Ah, uh, yeah. It's right on the line down here, but not here. That's a bit strange. But anyway. <laughs> look at this <laughs> and I've never done anything like this before thank you to the Paul the bearded carpenter for teaching us uh, it's not quite here I can take a bit more uh, yeah, it's a bit heavy on, uh, oh, maybe it's just because they're lying as they are. They're, they're not level in any way. They're just, I just laid them up here on three saw box or three uh, saw horses. Yeah. Oh yeah, when I do like this, it's all tight. Yeah, I'm pleased. Now I need to make an, uh, a peg to go through here and I'm going to make it in oak. Yeah, I'm going to drill a hole through this in this size. 42 millimeters I think it is. And that is in inches, what? One and a half or something. And I just put a screw in here just to hold it together because this one is, yeah, I think it's just going to manage to go through. Yeah, 
Now I drilled from one side. Well, I'm going to flip it, flip them, and drill from the other side. <laughs> that went quick. That was one. Yeah, now I need to make a peg. The first advantage of a sloping piece of land, you can adjust the saw box so it's level. <laughs> yeah. There it is. And now I just need to fix this. Now I'm going to put in some screws to hold it all in place so everything is in place from the beginning. That way I can feel the hole is perfect. The, uh, the rafters are nine centimeters thick and I'm using yeah, 90 millimeters and I'm using 90 millimeter screw but I'm giving them an angle so they won't go through I'll start on this side and uh, I'll give it the same amount on the other side. <laughs> the first two I made were too skinny. So now I made four. Of a piece of, uh, yeah, a little bit thicker branch. It's not much I need to take off. Yeah, I'll make them fit. That's a tight fit.
that was a row coming out just over there. paper keep falling off don't just do it like this instead through That looks really nice. Yeah. According to my uh, teacher, I should have cut out the uh, the bird mouth before I assembled at the top, but since I'm uh, in doubt of uh, what I'm doing, I'm, uh, I'm just marking them up and uh, I'm going to attach a block like this on each side and uh yeah it's mostly because the plate lock on seawall is a bit round on the outside where this is going to rest so i think maybe i have to scribe this uh where it will fit on the uh, on the plate lock yeah but uh I'll start by screwing these and uh, screwing these in or onto this rafter here and try if I can lift it at all. I don't know. Or else I'll have to figure out something else. But for now, I'll go with this. and see how it fits on top. Yeah, wish me luck.
recovering my all my bolts uh, for the winter. They've been lying all summer in the sun. Yeah, of course there have been some showers, but uh, now it's uh, autumn and winter are coming, and a lot of uh, rain or snow. But anyway. Since I started this morning with the rafters um, and decided to try and get the first one up, I've been to town and uh, I've been thinking I'm going to change plans on how I'm going to do the roof. So, uh, yeah. Sometimes it, it, it's a bit of a pain because this one is going 24-7 and uh, I got so many crazy ideas and uh, some of them are brought to life and I think this one is going to be, yeah, I think I'm going to do what I'm thinking. Um, if I succeed, I don't know, but uh, I'll give it a go, and uh, yeah, I ain't gonna tell you, <laughs> but uh, next episode, um, you can see what I'm on about. But anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, thanks to all the new subscribers and your comments, and please share on your social media so uh, I could get some more viewers it would be nice but anyway remember always try to live free yeah or at least die trying I'll continue with this see you next week <laughs>